Okay. Hmm. That's the 08. Um, as you can see with the old Frankenstein uh, controller, if you can call it a controller. Um, and this is the capacitor I pulled out of it, or the two capacitors. Let's see if we can uh, zoom in a little bit here. Youch, yeah. Cool, that went, didn't it? Oh, look at that. Yeah, you can see why it made such a loud bang and why it made such a smell. So it's weird that one went and the other one didn't. I suppose one would go before the other one would go, but there's no damage other than the scold marks, I think, from this one, the singe marks from there. I don't... It's that one that has gone. Now, what's causing that? Let's zoom back out again. So, the track was running previously on, on, on all this crap back here. The track was running at 10 volts, which is a bit low. The input the input was 12 volts, and by the time it had gone through all of that, it was 12 volts. So, it was, uh, sorry, it went, it went in at 10, 12 volts, and by the time it had gone through that and back into the track, it was 10 volts. That's kind of on the low end of what's okay. Um, when I ran this from the Hornby Select, it ran at 15 volts, 15 point something volts. But these capacitors are supposed to be rated for 16 volts. So why did it explode? Is it just a dodgy capacitor? I got it from the the, uh, the, the last bastion of quality, otherwise known as AliExpress. Are these just relabeled something else capacitors? I don't know. Mm, who knows? Anyway, the train, um, let's bring it over into, into view here. Um, it does work, um, so the sound comes on, great. Um, it does respond to commands. Weirdly, it uses the long, it loses the long ID on the side of this here, the 8489 ID, which is wrong, because I told the Hornby Select to reprogram it to eight. Um, but it was still using the old ID when I plugged it into the other controller so that would suggest to me there's some kind of incompatibility there. i think some sort of other cv might have to be changed to make it go into the short addresses because i happen to know the hornby select does not support the long addresses so i tried 08 because you know it's an 08 shunter um yeah anyway so it was it responded to the the long command that i had previously set for it and it tried to move and the wheels move a tiny bit and then it kept cutting out and if i kind of held my finger there it kind of moved like the wheels turned a bit and I maybe, maybe get half a rotation out of them before it kept cutting out. Now the whole thing felt like it was a electrical kind of lack of connection thing rather than a, oh dear, I've buggered up the DCC decoder. So hopefully that's all it is and hopefully we're okay. But yeah, I am a bit disheartened. I am, I am a little bit disheartened. This is not... This is not how I wanted my hobby to go. Um, at the same time, I haven't, like I said, I haven't touched this thing for months. So, I mean, I can't complain that much. I've, I've had other things to do, so that's good. But yeah, I'm kind of a... Of all the problems I thought I was going to have with this thing, I didn't. I did not think I would have the problem with this thing literally exploding on me. I did not think that would be a problem. Um, so do I now risk me flying Scotsman over there? Do I now risk that one? <laughs> And the Hornby Select controller, just so I've got something to run on here. Obviously, it's way too big, but um, do I get the 08 running again? I don't know. I think I might swap out for the what's in here for the, the old DC, and I've got a DC controller kicking around somewhere. I'm sure I can find it um, and just try and run it on DC and just see how it behaves. Um, if it keeps cutting out again, that would suggest that there is a problem with just the contacts. But the wheels look... Clean to me. Do they look clean to you? And I cleaned the track. Clean the track is easy, isn't it? Right. You just grab the little rubber. Uh, where have I got it? Yeah. You just grab the little rubber and just back and forth, and you, you've got a clean track. Um, clean the wheels is a pain in the ass because because <laughs> obviously they're round. They look clean to me. Do the pickups look okay to you? I mean, I know it's difficult to see. I know my camera work isn't great, guys. Like I said, we have zero video making skills here. This is this is the result of that. Um, yeah. Okay, well, this is not how I wanted things to go. But anyway, I'm quite, I'm quite proud of myself because like that does work, that wired and that worked well and I, I kind of got it working quite quickly. So, I mean, the, the track works. It's just the train at the moment, which obviously is 50% of the equation. So I do need to get that train working off. Uh, yeah, I'm tempted just to whack on the old DC. 
We'll see. I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to open the window here so I can aerate. The, it's amazing how much smell has come out of this. And just, ugh, just the amount of smell that's come out of this thing. And it's, I think, I think it's just in my nostrils now. I think it's just in my, my palate. So it probably doesn't actually smell that, that, that bad in here, but I'm going to try and air out the room anyway and just drink some water and just hopefully reset things in my, in my palate. But yeah, I mean, this, this is the idea anyway. So, um, you know, have a, have a long track here and I was going to have some sort of, I want, what I really want is some kind of control panel here. So you've got the two switches and then maybe some kind of switch like for going left and right and then some type of dial here, which would lend itself to being DC, wouldn't it, instead of DCC. But I also kind of promised myself I would always have DCC on this, on any any trains I get. I would have maybe maybe like a little road going across here with like a gate across it. And then maybe over here, I don't know, just, just some kind of like a, a water tower and maybe like a... a control box kind of thing that you know may, maybe some, some some kind of industrial stuff over here i deliberately bought this extra bit because what the, the kit came with that and that and i brought this bit in the middle to extend it even though i did not need it i wanted to extend it to then just just have some scenery have some kind of fun stuff i don't want the whole thing to be functional it's not functional at all right now because i'm gonna work in bloody train but yeah this would have been good if i could make it work hey ho well, if you want to see my continuing pains in this adventure, I mean, it, it's it's going to be that I've got work on Monday and on Tuesday I'm going halfway across the country and later on in the week I'm going halfway across the country again. Um, so it's probably going to be another week or two before I get to this. But I'm kind of oh, I'm annoyed because I, my local train model train club, we, we meet on a Wednesday and I want to show them something. I keep, I keep coming up with nothing and just having a chat with the guys and help them bring out the layouts and stuff and... You know, just I'm trying to be nice and everything, but it, you know, we are here to make model trains and make make things. Um, I wanted to show them this. I still can, I suppose, but I can't show them any bloody trains running. Out, can I? So maybe I'll maybe I'll work a bit harder on Tuesday try and get this thing working. We shall see. Okay. Um, well, thanks for watching my awful videos again. And you know, if, if yeah, if you want to see this adventure and zero scripting, zero video editing, zero skill apparently um, in doing this, then feel free to subscribe to my videos. Um, if you don't, then, then don't. I don't really care. But yeah, <laughs> this is more of a kind of like a little video diary for me. Um, yeah, God, that's a shame, isn't it? I was so proud of myself when I got that set up because I, you know. I think I was one of the first to do it, and even though I'm quite new to the hobby, I was quite proud of myself for getting that working. And then, of course, this bloody thing just blows up, and then, then even when I get that, take that out, it, you know, this little sort of stay alive kind of thing, it, then it, this this then just does not move. It, it doesn't even move. It doesn't even move a centimetre, let alone an inch. Uh, it doesn't move hardly at all, and it, it it does just feel like it's it's dirty track. So how do I get these wheels clean, guys? And uh, let me know. What do you do to clean the wheels? Because I, I I still think it might be the wheels. If I'm feeling brave, I might just um solder a wire or something on here just, just just to make sure it is getting proper consistent power and just see if it wants to then move the motors there it depends how brave i'm feeling about doing that and then once i've eliminated that i can then go backwards and then just see if it is it is the wheels which i suspect it is the wheels and i suspect it's the wheels not the track um, but yeah the pico stuff was kind of fun to work with so i brought a dremel thing i say dremel is a dremel knockoff um, I haven't got it in the room, so I can't show it to you. But yeah, it's, it's kind of interesting cutting cutting these off with the little circular thing. It's something I've never done before. This is all new to me. I've, I'm not handy at all. Um, and this is all bendy tracks. So you can bend it in any shape that you like. I've kept it mostly straight. I didn't want it to be completely straight. Um, although here I had to kind of cut these... What are these called? These wooden bits. Well, not wood, are they? The plastic here, but they're sleepers. That's it. I had to cut these little sleepers out, um, which makes that look a bit weird. I'm sure I'm going to sort that later. You know, the aesthetics are later. Um, and you get sleepers cut there again, sleepers cut there again, and there again. And that's where the electricity goes in. So I'm going to try and hide that in some fashion. Maybe some kind of loading platform or something just to hide that from view. Um, hmm. yeah, and all these, all these specs here. That's not me being gross. That's, that's come out of this train when it was trying to run because I did initially have this bit of track over here and yeah, that was clean before I put that on there. So, oh no, wait, no, no, that's not the train, is it? That's the track rubber. Wally, that's me cleaning the track with that. Jeez, you know, this is this is the level we're dealing with here, guys. Right, so this is nearly 10 minutes of me saying virtually nothing of interest. But yes, the OA is probably mechanically fine. It's just a bit of a question mark whether this is fine or not. Um, it makes all the noises, it responds okay to the controller, it just doesn't actually move the train, which is quite a critical job. And I still think 
I'm 50-50 whether I've actually damaged some sort of like power delivery system in it or if it's the track. Um, if I've damaged that chip, I know someone else on YouTube has and he's you know he's taken a Dremel to the inside of this to make it work. I'm tempted just to send him my 08 because um, I think I think he does it as a service kind of thing where he'll he'll fit the uh, the HM7000 to it. It is it is tempting just to let him have a go at it. I mean it's more money, isn't it? But it's um and I can have Bluetooth on it and I can have DCC. I can have have the best of both worlds. That is tempting. That is quite tempting just to try that out. Or maybe try and copy his work. But he, when I watched his video, I, I immediately thought this is way out of my league. Hence, I've done this. Hence, I've done this with his IMO de decoder. Okay, guys. Right. Um, it's getting late here, so I'm gonna go to bed. Try and get the smell out of my my palate and go to bed, and think about what I'm doing here. Do I even want to stay with TT scale? I like the scale. It. Yeah. I feel a bit disheartened. That's that's how it is. I'm going to sleep on it and perhaps update you on Wednesday. Maybe, maybe. We'll see how that goes. All right. Have a good one, everybody. Thanks for watching. And hopefully my next video will be more positive.